now let us discuss about implement the following boolean function using 8 by 1 and 4 by 1 multiplexer so this is the boolean function f of a comma b comma c comma d equal to sigma of so sigma means min terms sum of products so 0 1 3 4 7 8 9 11 14 15 so now we have to implement this boolean function with the help of 8 by 1 multiplexer as well as 4 by 1 multiplexer first let us implement using 8 by 1 multiplexer so 8 by 1 multiplexer means number of inputs are 8 number of outputs are 1 so number of inputs are 8 so we can write that as 8 we can write 8 as 2 power 3 so we have three selection inputs we have three selection lines but in the problem we have four boolean variables so out of four boolean variables we can take three boolean variables as selection inputs or selection lines and the remaining one variable as input variable so this is our 8 by 1 multiplexer we know that 8 by 1 multiplexer has eight inputs from i0 to i7 and it has one output that is f is the output here in the problem four, four boolean variables are given so out of four boolean, boolean variables we are treating the last three variables b c d as selection variables if you see here so 8 means we can write 8 as 2 power 3 so we have three selection lines so s2 s1 and s0 in this problem s2 s1 s0 are nothing but b c d it is our choice we can take either a b c or a c d or we can take any three variables so here b c d are nothing but selection variables whereas we are taking the first variable as input variable so now let's see about implementation table uh, in the implementation table we have to uh, consider the input variable here the input variable is a if a is equal to 0 we can write that as a bar why because here we have sum of products so sum of products means actual variable means a whereas complemented variable means a bar if a is equal to 1 then we can write that as 8 a here we have 8 inputs so i0 i1 i2 i3 likewise we have 8 inputs from i0 to i7 so here when i0 will be selected when the selection inputs when uh, here we have i0 so when i0 will be selected when s2 s1 s0 are triple zero so when the selection inputs are triple zero then i0 will be selected okay so that means here if you see here here this, this column this row represents a is equal to 0 so a is equal to 0 means a bar so here what is i0 so i0 will be selected when the selection inputs are triple zero so that means i0 means triple zero when i1 will be selected when the selection inputs are double zero one so when the selection inputs are double zero one then i1 will be selected so likewise when i7 will be selected when the selection inputs are all ones when the selection inputs are all ones then i7 will be selected so here what is a value zero so zero triple zero so four zero in decimal notation is zero next here we have 0 and when i1 will be selected 0 0 1 so 0 triple double triple 0 1 means in decimal notation that is 1 so likewise we can write 2 3 4 5 6 so when i7 will be selected when the selection inputs are triple 1 so 0 triple 1 in decimal notation is 7 so likewise here we have a value as 1 so 1 triple 0 means 8 so 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 if you observe the problem here we have min terms 0 1 3 4 so that min terms should be enclosed in the circle so 0 1 3 4 7 next 8 9 11 14 15 8 9 11 14 15 so we have to enclose those min terms within the circle next if you observe i naught so here 0 is enclosed within the circle as well as 8 is enclosed within the circle so here the value is 1 for i1 also both the values are enclosed inside the circle so 1 for i2 there is no circle so the value is 0 for i3 
both are enclosed inside a circle so one for i4 this 4 is enclosed inside a circle this 4 means a bar so i4 is a bar i5 means no circle so 0 i6 means 14 is enclosed inside a circle so 14 means a value is 1 a i7 means 1 so if you observe here what is i0 so i0 receives input from 1 next what is i1 so 1 is connected to i1 next 0 1 0 1 next a bar 0 a1 so this is about 8 by 1 multiplexer implementation now let us see about 4 by 1 multiplexer implementation so here 4 by 1 multiplexer so 4 by 1 multiplexer means we will have 4 inputs and 1 output we can write 4 as 2 power 2 so that means we have 2 selection lines so out of 4 variables we can take 2 as selection lines and the remaining 2 as input variables if we, if we take the previous one we have only one input variable but now instead of one we have to take two input variables so if we observe the multiplexer s1 s0 are the selection lines we are assuming c and d as the selection lines whereas the first two as input variables so this is nothing but implementation table implementation table mainly contains input variable as well as this inputs so 4 by 1 multiplexer means we have four inputs i0 i1 i2 i3 so i0 i1 i2 i3 so here we have two input variables a b are the input variables so two variables means we will have four combinations 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so 0 0 means we can write as a bar b bar 0 1 means a bar b 1 0 means a b bar 1 1 means a b so when this i0 will be selected when the selection lines are 0 0 so when when c d are 0 0 then i0 will be selected so i0 means 0 0 i1 means 0 1 i2 means 1 0 i3 means 1 1 so here 0 0 0 0 means 0 0 0 0 1 means 1 0 0 1 0 means 2 likewise if you take this this one 1 0 0 1 means 9 if you take the last one 1 1 1 1, 1 means 15 so likewise we have to write 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so this is the problem in terms 0 1 3 4 7 8 9 0 1 3 4 7 8 9 next 11 14 15 so we have to enclose all the min terms which are specified in the problem inside the circle if we observe i naught the first three are enclosed inside a circle what is 0 a bar b bar so here we are evaluating the expression for i naught a bar b bar next 4 is also enclosed inside a circle so a bar b plus a b bar plus a b bar sum of products forms if we observe the first two, two terms a bar is common so b bar plus here the remaining term is b plus what is the last one a b bar we know the formula for b bar plus b that is 1 so a bar into 1 means a bar plus what is the last term a b bar so this is nothing but distributive law we have a formula called a plus b c what is the formula for a plus b c a plus b into a plus c so we can expand this one a bar plus a into a bar plus b bar a bar plus a means 1 so 1 into a bar plus b bar means a bar plus b bar so here the expression for i naught is a bar plus b bar likewise if you observe i1 i1 means 1 is enclosed as well as 9 is enclosed inside a circle a bar b bar plus a b bar for i1 a bar b bar plus a b bar b bar is common so a bar plus a so what is the formula for a bar plus a 1 so 1 into b bar means b bar likewise what is i2 i2 means here we have only one value that is 14 is enclosed in, inside a circle what is 14 a b next i3 means all are enclosed so that means 1 if we observe here what is i2 here a b so this is i2 i2 receives input from so this is a this is b multiplication of a b that is a and b whereas what is the formula for i1 a bar plus b bar so here this input means this is a so complement of a that is a bar this input is b complement of b means b bar so this is nothing but r gate so i naught means it receives input from a bar plus b bar next what about i2 a b what about i2 uh, i2 is already over what is i1 b bar so this is this 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 line represents b bar so i1 receives input from b bar 
what is i3 i3 means 1 it receives input from 1 so in this way we can implement any boolean function with the help of uh, multiplexer 